Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will share with you updated results on the Crypto Hopper trading bot I deployed last week. It was utilizing my RSI crossing up strategy uh, along with the APO that also indicates price momentum in a certain direction, either up or down. And I was using the RSI cross to buy on the oversold and the RSI over bought to sell along with confirmation from the APO indicator. So with that all being said, let's get right to the actual results. And you can see right away, looking over here on the right corner of the screen, so far the total USD returns has been $100. And, and keep in mind, I'm only letting each position be $100. I have been keeping the positions fairly small as this was a new strategy that I deployed. And so far I'm up 12%, almost 13% in seven days it's been exactly seven days and so that's not too terribly bad on a starting balance of a thousand dollars essentially and you can see i currently have a few positions being held a total of five bitcoin and three ethereum positions now i have been manually closing some positions as you can see and the strategy has also been closing positions based on rsi overbought and the APO in a negative number, meaning the price action has rolled over and is going down. And so if we take a look at the history, you see quite a few manually sold. And that is really because I do monitor my bots and especially this bot since it was a new strategy. And as I saw Bitcoin and ETH surging up this weekend, when I saw resistance, I would sell and take profit which would free up funds because again i've only given this bot about a thousand dollars to work with and with a hundred dollar position sizing i'm limited to nine or ten positions at a time and so i wanted to make sure as the price surged up and hit resistance to capture that profit so then when the price pulled back down i could get back into a position and capture that next move up. And it really did work this weekend. As you can see, I had a lot of manual sells, but the idea is small losses uh, and bigger wins. And here you can see I closed out the position manually on ETH on a couple positions and took 6% uh, profits. And then down here, we can see the strategy actually worked on Bitcoin as we broke the 27,000 level and it turned over once we did just briefly in reality because the price did continue to move up but the strategy alone was able to capture a 10% and on this position because keep in mind it's holding multiple positions of each coin on this position when it turned over it took a 1.63% profit I'm fine with that as long as this is taking profit and small losses like this small loss here it's working and then again you see where i manually sold again for a nice streak of profit and part of that's going to be the day trader in me my strategies are designed around how i trade and in this case you can see i'm taking profits at levels that i typically will see as resistance or as i start to see the price sell off and again the idea behind that is to take these profits and let the bot buy back in at a lower price or when the price action has started to recover here's a couple more positions the strategy closed out on eth we can see a couple small wins and a small loss and as we continue down through you see my where i'm taking profits manually and the strategy did its job took some more profits and a small very small loss on bitcoin and you can see i deployed this bot on december 21st to uh, 2020 today's december 28th 2020 if you missed the video where i configured this particular bot i'll leave a link in the description below and you can check out how i actually configured this bot but the driving force behind this bot if we click over here on strategies on the left hand side of the toolbars over here the strategy that i have deployed is the rsi cross 4070 and if we dive a little deeper into the strategy you can see my rsi for the buy side is configured on five minute candles which is very aggressive i have it necessary i'm working with the rsi period of nine and i need the value to be greater than or equal to 40 on rsi and i'm keeping the signal for one candle and so what i'm looking for out of the rsi if we jump to the chart 
you can see where it becomes oversold at the dotted white line down here is the 20 level. When it gets oversold, you see this sell off, these red candles. Once I get back above the 40, it should take a position. And in order to take that position, it also needs the absolute price oscillator to confirm that the momentum of the price action has also reversed and is moving in a positive direction as well. And I have that also on the five minute candles. It's necessary. Fast period of 12, slow period of six. And I'm keeping that for one candle with, and the moving average type is EMA. And with the RSI and the APO confirmation, I'm looking to buy these dips. And even this one would qualify because once it breaks above the 40 line is when this strategy should be buying. So every time you see it move above the yellow line, it's buying in. And in some cases, I'm selling off if I see there's resistance or the strategy will sell off if it breaks above 70, which is the dotted line up here at the top of the RSI, if it breaks above and starts to sell off and it breaks above and starts to sell off, the strategy will take profit. And so that is kind of what I based my strategy on for buying on the selling. My strategy is a little different. It's a 14 period versus nine, and I'm looking for it to be greater than or equal to 70. So basically crossing up above the 70 and I'm on the one hour versus the five minute candles for the sell side. So that's a big difference. And I will keep that signal for four candles because the way I have the APO configured is on 15 minute candles and it needs to go negative. And just because we break over the 70 region, we could go to 80 or 90 oversold and still be moving up. I don't necessarily want the bot to close out just because we cross over the 70 region. If we're still moving up, I want the price to turn negative and that's what the APO will tell us. Once that price turns negative, meaning it's selling off and we're over 70 for RSI, then it will trigger a sell. And that is how that strategy is basically configured for this particular bot. And again, I'll leave a link down below that goes over all the configuration settings for this particular bot. This by no means is a set it and forget it bot. You can see right now I hold a position from two days ago on ETH that's at 18% profit that I've not manually closed out because I'm comfortable letting this position run. Now these five Bitcoin positions, I will definitely be taking profit on some of these manually because in all probability, we're probably going to be range bound for a short period of time. And I would rather take some profit on the spikes and allow myself to get back in at lower prices. And same with these other ETH positions that I hold, I will more, more than likely manually close them out as well. And primarily due to the recent run up on ETH, and I also hold this position that is a big winner and I'll let this one run as high as it wants to go. I may manually close it if it starts to reach around 30 or 40% profit. That would be extremely tempting to close that one out. But for now, I'll let the bot determine based on strategy whether to hold or sell this particular position that's up 18% right now. So with that all being said, I just wanted to do a quick update video on how this bot has been performing over the past seven days. After one week being up just over 12%, I'm pretty happy with the performance of the bot, especially considering it's only trading two coins and that's ETH and BTC. So in closing, do me a favor. If you like this video, spike that like. Also, be sure to subscribe so you can see future update videos or future videos that I might be making changes to this particular bot as far as the strategy goes. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section down below. And remember, never send your money in the battle without first doing your recon. I'll see you in the next video.